moved inside. We're in a place where there's a lot of noise, my bad. But I do want to point out a couple more things. One of the things I started to notice is when I started to gain traction on my YouTube channel, I kind of know. I kind of noticed that people started to copy what I was doing and started um, trying to do the same things I was doing. And it's always kind of weird when people try to keep you from doing stuff, but then also they start to copy. So you'll notice that a lot. So if you're somebody out there who's on the fence about creating a YouTube channel or you're on the fence about creating videos, go ahead and go for it and don't let people stop you because that's been a common theme in my life. But I was always the sort to keep going, like nobody's going to stop me. And when I did have some success, a lot of people tried to secretly watch what I was doing. And that's always kind of weird when people do that. First they hate, then they kind of hate. My bad. Um, I'm going to try to uh, create a bunch of different types of videos and there's going to be people in the background sometimes talking. My bad. So anyways. And then, I'm trying to think of something else. Yeah, I've got my doggy with me on the inside because it's starting to get too hot. So, uh, so I'm going to be making noise too. There's this um, idea. Well, no, let me take that back. I've really been unavailable lately to the people in my past. I've cut out a lot of people out of my life. And when I realized it wasn't, they weren't being supportive, they were kind of more hateful and jealous and gossipy and stabbing me in the back, I've been cutting them out. When you're going for your goals and your dreams, don't talk about it, just do it. Don't tell people, just show them. And sometimes when you do that, sometimes that um, goes along with being more unavailable for me personally. I start creating more boundaries. I've been less available. Yeah. <laughs> and people have kind of taken notice that I've stepped back. I haven't been posting on Facebook and Instagram as much. And I've done that for a couple reasons because the time you spend scrolling on Facebook and Instagram could be times where you're creating content for your own channel. And just generally speaking, like when you spend less time on social media, you have time to do other things. And I'm kind of at the place in my life where you're either going to figure it out or you're not. And I figured out my strategy for me by me, right? I had YouTuber friends um, across the country who have way more views than I do, and that's great. But I found my slice of pie. And I'm going to go to the next one. Stay in your lanes, find your content, find what um, you're gonna post about, and try not to post things just for views or you think that you're gonna get a lot of views with it. Be yourself and find something that genuinely aligns with you, right? Uh, let's see, for example, I've had a lot of people ask me about making religious content or making content on politics and college and relationships and I'm like why that's not my lane but I know there's people out there hmm. I think I want to create content in those areas because I think it'll make me go viral no I rather create content that's me you know I'm myself like I want to create content on how not to be jealous of people and if that only gets me 10 views great Once you do that, like find what aligns with you, 
and find your purpose and stay in your lane, it'll appear easy, you know, and it might appear easy to other people. Because I think some people think, oh, she's had it easy and stuff like that. It's like, no, it's not that. I just found my purpose and I stay in my lanes and I mind my own business. Nice, she's fine. And I am genuinely myself. And instead of creating a video on politics, which might give me a lot of views, I'm going to stick to my lanes. So that's a big one. Uh, we'll see how this video goes because I'm just going to edit this in with a bunch of my other stuff that I've cr previously created, like in the car. I kind of like this shot. This is cool. And my bad for all the background noise. But Alrighty, thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. Toodles!